In this JavaScript beginner tutorial series number 22, in this tutorial you are going to learn this the nested loop of JavaScript. So how the nested loop is used for this in JavaScript. So we'll do the introduction and we'll be see some example and the practical also will be do there. So nested loop basically used for the for loop. So when you, when you have a simple for loop, so this is basic for loop. So for this I have taken some small there is you can see the variable a is equal to 1 and a will be the greater than or equal to a will be this greater than equal to 10 so it will be it can be the value a value can be the less than 10 or it can be equal to the 10 and it will be the increment so now this is basic for loop so it will be called an instead loop when you have inside of this for loop you have again another for loop then it's called an instead loop so then you can run any statement over here this is statement you can write this statement whatever you want to print this you want to do the perform test for the nested loop you can write here the statement what you want to do then it will work perfectly over there so now let's see an example of this nested loop so this nested loop example one there you can see we're going to do that practical so this basically in your college example so most of the students are getting that confusion that how actually this nested loop work and how to do that exactly so we're going to do it practically so this is basically so let's try to understand over there so here we can see that there is a chart over there's flowchart that is one two 1 to 3 and 1 to 3 4 and this is 1 to 3 4 5 so there you can see total of this 5 column over here there is 1 2 3 a is basically for the column of this 1 2 3 4 5 and this is for 1 2 3 4 5 this is the last digit of number which is our b variable now this is storage in our b variable so there you can see that this is the for variable and this one a is greater than or equal to 5 so a is less than or equal to 5 and a plus plus it will be increment and when we are using that inside of this say, nested loop this for bar so this is this last section and this is the b section for this b variable it will be one when it is b equal to one so this is b is one and this will be of this all of this is starting of the column this will be started from the one so it will be b is equal to one and b will be assigned this value to less than this equal a so b all value will be assigned to this a value so this will be sequence will be incremented one by one that is one two three one two three four and one two three four five and then you have to write this document dot b write this you have to print that v variable then it will be show like this this type of display to us so let's see that how we can do it let's go back to our coding studio okay here we can save open my visual code store there is our basic html file so i just need to back to our file of our script file which is our js folder now select this folder and create a file so i'm going to create a file that is nested loop so this is nested loop okay dot this now save this file now the side this our left side of window over here now just we need to close this previous file and here is our index.html file and the nested loop dot this so first of all i have to connect this file over here so this is nested dot nested loop dot this and it is saved so now the file is connected so let me hide this line of our text so that it's can, it will not get any confusion over there so this is added now we are going to do that perform this work now the back to nested loop.js okay now write it here for and then we'll take a variable which is bar a is equal to one and then we're going to take the value for the a limits a less than or equal to five so it will be 5 and then we're going to make it increment over here so a plus plus now open here the curly braces and then we just need to see here this how it's work basically so let's see just print it out over there so this is document dot write and a will be printed over there now let's see how it's work there you can see it was printed this is one to five this is one two three four five so it was printed successfully there so now i want to make it as a breakable so for that we can write here the break simply so i'm just going to add it over there so not going to print it a i'm just going to here i'm just going to print it the break so it will be by default all value will be break out over there so now inside of it we just need to open here another for when it will be a nested loop so just going to open up the for again and we're going to take a variable over there which is b and it's equal to one and b is less than or equal to a let me take a space so that it can be look perfect 
so when we set this so this b value will be stored in a value for the a this is it will be count for the 5 1 to 5 and b also will be the same and matching with that a so this when b a is 1 so b will be 1 when a is 2 b will be 2 line of row so this is it b will be contained of this row and a will be contained of the columns so now just we just need to make it the b will be incremented over here so that when this a is going to this line 1 and b also the line 1 when a is going to this line column 2 and b will be increment this is 1 2 so it will be increment the same type of this how much column you are going to be increasing here the row will be increased the same types of this content and the same number of this row so now we just done it now we just need to open here the curly braces and then we are just going to copy it and just inside of this for loop so i just need to connect here or loop which is b a variable so we need to print the b because we want to see as a column and row column which already have the, the b when we have selecting that row section by divided there then b will be automatically mirrors with that one a variable difference of the month that is a equal a less than equal 5 so this will be 5 times it will be row will be created over there now save this file and you can see it was successfully created but why this break maybe someone have the confusion over there so i want to make some space over there so let me first make it here plus a space so a string inside of this string we can take a space so this will be a space above now why this breakout so if we remove this break from here and you'll be see this all is printed in one line so that's why i added here the break so that all will be the row will be the inline break over there so for example if you take here some more if you take this 10 then it will be to get the 10 column and 10 rows now you can see that 1 2 3 4 5 this 10 column and the 10 rows so now we're going to do the, the another practical over there okay, now we're going to see that example number two of the nested loop so this is like this, this is similar type but this is very different so a lot of students will be get the confused that this 1 1 and this 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 so there we can see that a and v the column is same and this is the b wave also the same so this is the you can see that 1 1 this sequence it was printed this 3 this a where this column 3 it was printed the 3 as a 3 time and the 4 column 4 is printed 4 time 5 column 5 is printed 5 time so this is basically when you were using that column and they were this row so this is all number is all equal it was just increasing of the sequence and the increasing of other increment so there you can see this is we need to the same as it have in a previous loop example just we just need to see here there is we just need to document dot right we just need to print our a variable so that means a will be implement this all of this or serial one one two two three three the sequence and it will be print this the same value of this three line of this three row this will be print three number of digits at the same and the four column it will be for this four row it will be print that this four types of this four number this four the same type and five rows it will be print the five for the five time so let's see that how to do this okay for this example too we just need to paint here instead of b we need to paint here a then it will be we can see that this one and the row two it will be two will be print three two times and this row three three will be print three times if we increase the value over there whatever you can increase if you are going to increase in 100 so it will be 100 times it will be printed like this so there you can see some of this line has break it because there some of skin resizable so there you can whenever going to skin size then it will be go as the perfectly line up there so this is the way that how you can print using that nested loop and nested loops how it's work over there so i hope you understand that all process of the nested loop and if you have any question about it you can give me on the comment section below and if you enjoy the tutorial please like on it and share this video with your friends so that your friends also can be learn about it and if you want to get more tutorials just like this so you can subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any tutorials from us